The iron barrel contains a ferocious, mysterious fish. Even the knowledgeable old professor was scared out of his cold sweat. The professor trembled with his hands, carefully pouring it into the fish tank. The black fish was fierce-looking and full of steel teeth. The aggressive nature of the fish made people shudder. To further confirm, the professor put his finger in the water. The professor explained to the crowd, this species of piranha died out a hundred years ago. It is a ferocious species that hunts in organized and systematic groups. Once attacked by them, they would soon be reduced to nothing but bones. If it is an extinct species, how could it suddenly appear? Back in time to yesterday, the old man was fishing leisurely in the lake. The beer bottle they had put down slipped into the water, sinking straight to the bottom of the lake. The seemingly insignificant impact, but in the bottom of the lake caused a big earthquake. The earthquake made the bottom of the lake split into instantly. At this time, the old man did not realize the danger. But the next second, a huge whirlpool suddenly appeared on the lake. The boat was swept away in great danger. But what's even more terrifying is, a large group of ancient piranhas came out along the bottom of the lake crack. The poor old man fell into the water, facing the piranha's crazy bite. The old man kept struggling but was still eaten up. On the other side of the rock wall, the young man happily jumped into the lake before he had a chance to enjoy the coolness, despite the man's desperate struggle, but the lake was still dyed red. The man eventually also could not escape the fate. One after another, people went missing. Sheriff Elizabeth Shu soon received calls from families. She took Deputy Sheriff Ian Rames. She came to the pier overnight to investigate. She saw the boat flowing just a short distance away. Elizabeth Shu tried to pull it over to look for clues, but her arms were too short and she couldn't make it. The two were unaware that the danger was hidden underwater. Just as she was about to give up, the wooden bridge suddenly broke. Elizabeth's shoe also slipped into the water, but after a flutter, no harm done. Suddenly, the old man's body appeared out of nowhere. Scared Elizabeth's shoe screamed a lot, looking at the dead body with only white bones. Elizabeth shoe realized that something was wrong. She reported to her superiors and requested to close the lake, but her superiors didn't care, because in a few hours, the town's annual water carnival, thousands of people will gather here, bringing in a lot of money to the town. Elizabeth Shu had no choice but to cooperate with the experts sent from above to the lake to assess the risks. Scientists with specialized equipment dived to the bottom of the lake. They soon found a fissure. They kept diving down the fissure. They saw a round hole. Driven by curiosity, the man defied his colleague's advice. He insisted on going through the hole to find out what happened. He came to a huge cave. An amazing number of fish eggs were everywhere. The man is amazed, not noticing the impending danger. Deep in the cave at the bottom of the lake, the man reached out his hand and slowly stepped forward to touch the strange embryo in front of him. But the mysterious creature bit through his finger. The blood immediately spread out everywhere. The man hurriedly pulled the lighting rod. The next second, thousands of piranhas appeared. The female teammate heard the man's cry for help. She rushed to the cave to check. She saw that the man was surrounded by fish. The man had been eaten to death. The woman tried to escape from the situation, but the piranhas soon found her too. Adam Scott sensed something was wrong and went into the water. But in the end, he couldn't save the woman, the two of them are in shock, and take the piranhas to the old professor. The old professor's words instantly sent chews down their backs. This is the oldest and the most vicious fish. As long as the living creatures in the lake will be eaten clean by them, if we don't seal off the scenic spot as soon as possible, the death and injury of tourists will be very heavy. In the meantime, the town's annual water carnival has begun to be held in a grand manner. Thousands of young people were having a great time on the lake. Elizabeth Shu immediately mobilized the entire police force, even went so far as to fire a gun to test the police, warned the tourists to leave quickly. But to their surprise, the tourists not only ignored, instead, they jumped into the water one by one. And by now the water was full of piranhas. Woman happily sitting on the swimming ring, but her buttocks were targeted by piranhas. With the woman's screams of pain, dense schools of fish swarmed, began to attack the crowd indiscriminately. Indulge in a delicious lunch meat, the men and women who were so happy just now, suddenly became frightened. The party turned into a frightening party. Blood turned the lake red. Desperate crowds flee for their lives, climbing to the center stage without a second thought. But as more and more people crowded, the stage was overwhelmed and began to tilt. Originally thought to have escaped the crowd, once again fell into the water. Elizabeth Shu did her best to save the injured. Adam Scott also piloted a jet ski to save as many survivors as possible. But even with all their best efforts, the casualties were still mounting. Ving Rain shot all the bullets in his gun to cover the tourists to shore. A handful of the speedboat's engine, he reached into the water and fought the fish. Although Ving Rain killed numerous piranhas, but in the end, he was outnumbered. He died under the siege of the fish. After paying a terrible price, the massacre finally came to an end. Elizabeth Shu hadn't even taken a few breaths. She heard the sad news on her cell phone. Her three children were in trouble. In shallow, refilled waters, a luxury cruise ship struck a reef. Lake water rushed into the cabin. The three people on the deck who were caught off guard, they were thrown into the lake. And the water is full of vicious piranhas. The woman was eaten up in the blink of an eye. The man was scared half to death. He was unable to escape from the fish, even when it turned around to run for his life. 
The beautiful woman in the boat stretched out her oar. It took a lot of effort to pull the man into the boat, but the lower half of the man's body has already been eaten up. Meanwhile, Kelly was trapped in the galley, unable to move. As the water level rises higher and higher, her situation becomes precarious. It was at this critical moment, Elizabeth Shun and Adam Scott arrive in their boat. Elizabeth Shue throws the cable hard at her son Stephen. Stephen then tied the rope to the bow of the boat. Elizabeth Shue, desperate to save her son's life, with the cooperation of Adam Scott, she made a quick passage. She reached the cruise ship without any problems. After observing the situation of the cruise ship, she decided to escort the beautiful woman and the two children to the speedboat first, and then try to rescue Kelly. A few people moved carefully. The slightest carelessness will be buried in the belly of the fish. Everything was going well, but the sky is unpredictable. The director has arranged everything. The beauty's long hair caused trouble. Piranhas kept dragging and biting. Left the beauty suddenly confused. She died tragically when her strength was exhausted. While the fish were feeding in the water, two children seized the opportunity to board the ship. But just then the screws on the cruise ship began to loof. But Adam Scott was quick. He pulled the throttle and pulled Elizabeth's shoe up in time. When Elizabeth's shoe arrived safely at the cruise ship, Stephen did not want to drag his family down. And to save his beloved Kelly, he tied the cable around his waist, throwing the man's body into the water. The smell of blood soon attracts piranhas from the cabin. Stephen quickly moves to Kelly's galley. He found a light stick, then turn on the gas tank in the kitchen. Tell Adam Scott to tow them away in 10 seconds. Then take Kelly and swim out of the cabin. He lit the light a rod and threw it behind him. But at the critical moment, an accident happened. The speedboat failed to start. The piranhas were about to return. The flammable gas is about to be detonated. Stephen's people were already close to despair. Fortunately, the moment the lighting rod floated up, the engine finally managed to start. They were so happy to have survived the disaster, but then the radio suddenly went off. The old professor hurriedly told the people, piranhas have not grown up, now they are just fried. Babies? So, where are the parents?